the sulfur dioxide um, will, in the presence of um, ash, um, produce the sulfur trioxide. Together, the sulfur trioxide will combine with water to form acid. We'll talk about that more later when we talk about acid rain, but just imagine it irritates your lungs, similar to how nitrogen dioxide irritates your lungs because um, it is, uh, it's a, a corrosive gas that will, you know, break bonds in your lungs, cause your lungs to, you know, give off more water to try to deal with it, and just in general, um, get in, uh, inhibit your the breathing and your lung capacity. Particulate matter, um, the problem with particulate matter, th these are these tiny particles. They're not gases. They're little clumps of uh, minerals and other um, bits that don't get completely, um, you know burned up in combustion reactions. These little tiny particles, you may not be able to see them, but they can get into your lungs, they can get into your eyes, nose, throat, and cause irritation. For sick people, it's really bad because it can cause respiratory distress and heart attacks. So they've shown when the particulate matter is high um, due to a lot of industrial activity or you know the weather conditions just exist such that things get blown around into certain areas. Um, there can be a higher incidence of heart attacks um, on those days for people who are already kind of distressed. Um, it can overstress their hearts. Okay, so it's dangerous. That's why we try to limit the amount of particulate matter and we have ways of alerting the public when particulate matter concentrations get too high beyond safe limits. Um, something else, well, I'll tell you more about particulate matter um, in the next, um, in the next activity, but, but anyway, those are the problems. So, so far now, going back to our, um, our air quality standard chart, now uh, this shouldn't just look like a bunch of words and numbers to you. At this point, you ought to have enough chemical knowledge to look at carbon monoxide, know its sources. Nitrogen dioxide, know its source. Ozone, know the nasty stuff that it is, what its source, what its chemical formula is, um, you know, where it comes from, and why it doesn't stick around for very long. Lead, uh, we looked at its particulate matter. Lead now in the United States is not quite as much of a problem as it used to be because we've gotten rid of the fuel additive tetraethyl lead. So we still monitor it because at one point it was a big health problem because lead um, causes neurological damage that's irreversible. So it builds up the more exposure you have. It's very slow and it's hard to tell at first, but it causes neurological damage. Um, and also can cause damage to the bone marrow. So it's, it, it was bad, but that, that's why we've dealt with it so well here in the United States. But if you travel outside the United States or if you live outside the United States, you want to be aware of that. Um, that other countries don't have quite so stringent rules as we do. And then the particulates, um, there's two different sizes of particulate matter, 10 microns and 2.5 microns. And the smaller the particulate matter, the more dangerous it is. And that's why the limits are set lower for the smaller particles. Um, I, and I can tell you right now, I was going to tell you later, but this, these little teeny tiny particles, can you can breathe them in and they can get embedded down in your lungs and you don't breathe them back out. And then over time, it can collect. And a problem with this, for example, is over time, if you keep breathing in these little tiny dust particles, um, it causes your scar tissue to build up in your lungs and you can get serious lung disease. Um, and then your lungs try to fix themselves and it's just, it builds up, it's like a catch-22 and the problem gets worse and worse. This, this is the kind of thing that happens to people who um, get black lung, who are exposed to dust over years and years um, in coal mines, and or if you work outside a lot where there's a lot of dust and you don't have proper respiratory protection, um, it may not seem harmful um, in the short term, but in the long term, it can continue to damage your lungs because those particles do not leave your lungs. They get embedded down in there. Scar tissue builds up and whatnot, and the lungs just stop functioning, and it just causes all kinds of other health problems. So it's not to be taken lightly. And then the sulfur dioxide, finally, you should be aware that it comes from, you know, the, the coal has small amounts of sulfur, and that's where that particular um, pollutant is coming from.